So to solve a problem like this, we have 3y minus yz equals 2z. Um, obviously, when we're solving multi-step equations, if you guys remember, we need to combine the variables, right? You got to get them to one variable, right? Forget about literal. When you guys are just solving equations, you had two x's on the same side. You had to combine them, right? So the obvious thing is combine the y's. But the problem is these are not like terms. Because for them to be like terms, they have to have the same variables. Well, yes, they both have y. But this has a z and this doesn't. So we cannot combine them. So how can we solve when we, don't, when, we can, when we have more than one variable? Well, in this case, we can't solve this for y. All right, unless we can get, these, unless we can get the y's to, into one variable. So we can't combine them. But what we can do is factor out the y. So essentially what I'm doing is dividing out the y in both terms and rewriting it as a product. Because if you apply distributive property, does y times 3 minus z give you this when you apply distributive property? Yeah. So it's like the reverse of distributive property, what I'm doing, equals 2z. So now, again, we look at this and say, what is happening to our variable? What operation is being applied to the variable? Anybody want to give it a shot? Multiplication. Yeah. Would you say multiplication? Yeah. If there's only one y in front of the parentheses, you get that you have to distribute in each term. Yeah, because you have to distribute that y to both of them. Um, yeah, it's multiplication. There's a little product right here. It's not subtraction or addition. Yeah, there's subtraction and addition being applied to the z or to the, um, to the 3 and the z, but, no, but there's none addition or subtraction being applied to the y. So to undo multiplication of 3 minus z, we need to divide by 3 minus z. So therefore, I have y equals 2z divided by 3 minus z. And that's it. Done. Fine.